Hi Bear fam. Welcome to another episode of Bear Thoughts. Let's start with a little story, shall we? When I was fresh out of my masters, I saw most of my peers go into some of the top rated MNCs and advertising agencies. These were some wonderful opportunities with a chance to gain exposure to some of the brightest minds in the business. I on the other hand, did something quite contrary. I joined a small business that was focused on climate and sustainability. And yeah, you guessed it right. It was bare necessities. The decision was much to the surprise of most of my friends who did not expect it in the least. What could one possibly learn from working at a small business? Climate, really? Was it honestly an issue worth looking into and working as someone's first job? But well, I was far too invested in the process to go back now. When I first joined Bare Necessities, I didn't immediately come to face the harsh reality of climate change. Rather, it was like peeling the multiple layers of an onion, slowly unraveling the multitude of issues that come with it. One of the first realizations that I had was that climate change and more specifically the waste crisis is not some abstract issue that we can attribute to external parties and stakeholders. It's quite the opposite. It is deeply personal and we can all be solutions as much as we have the power to fuel it. And in the face of this, I next realized the importance of running climate and impact focused businesses. In a country that is grappling with the effects of climate change, it is more integral now than ever to make climate change a mainstream discussion and not one that is relegated to being niche. At the same time, to increase the scope and reach of this, it needs to be extended to businesses that can be profitable and involve multiple stakeholders. And therefore, we need to look at solutions that place social and environmental goals at the center while simultaneously working on economic indicators as well. And in this regard, I saw the importance of social impact businesses which is a beautiful marriage between social environmental responsibilities and economic targets which paves the way to address societal issues while having a ripple effect on the larger community served and what are some of the challenges that small businesses focused on climate look to make well some of these metrics look like building a carbon neutral supply chain employing more individuals from underserved communities upskilling talent and preventing waste that would otherwise be diverted to the landfills among many others these business ideas sound like they are straight out of a fairy tale am i right imagine if everyone building businesses did this then we probably would not have most of the climate issues plaguing us anymore i bought into this idea only to soon realize that building a climate focused businesses is not as easy as most ceos make them seem If anything at all, it's an uphill challenge to get the business up and running, and then more importantly, to continue to sustain it. For starters, companies in this space aim to change the rhetoric on consumption and production to make it more sustainable within India, a concept which takes time for most to warm up with. Communicate the intent of the product and the business to customers requires persistence and patience. After all, the product or service takes precedence over all other factors. Importantly though, it is important to remember that sympathy is not scalable. Entrepreneurs can't mollycoddle customers to purchase their products. India also wrestles with truly unique issues. Fool, for example, is a business that I deeply admire and look up to. It's a business that uses temple flowers to make incense sticks. and a four leather like material the flowers used would otherwise be diverted to the river ganga contributing to water pollution given that these are sacred flowers and have been used to adorn gods or as an offering they cannot be thrown into the garbage they need to go to the river the first roadblock that plagued the founders was sourcing the flowers because most temples and its priests did not trust them with it but With persistent and consistent work on the business, the company has achieved so much and yet at the same time, the flower waste issue has become a much spoken topic too, bringing the waste crisis to the forefront. 
Another aspect is capital, which is one of the most important components to run a business. And while there are multiple and diverse sources of capital now than ever before, I was appalled to know that access to execute something unique is another barrier for a small and a young social enterprise. Moreover, if it is a women-led company, access to finance is a huge challenge as startups with women founders manage to get only about 1.5 to 2% of the total funding. Despite so many bottlenecks, how do businesses and their founders keep going? It's resilience. And it's the issue that takes pre- precedence over everything else. They don't let anyone tell them what they can and cannot do. With a bold imagination to create the most vivid and mut- beautiful life for themselves and the planet, they are the authors of their own stories. And so are we all. We can physically, emotionally, mentally heal from anything and defy all socially constructed notions of what our life should look like. There are so many social impact companies that are, black, that are battling a plethora of unique challenges each day and continuing to set up systems that perhaps the biggest of the companies have not been able to do. Importantly though, what can you and I do as consumers? It is certainly possible to consciously rethink purchasing decisions in order to support smaller businesses and their founders. Being resourceful by by spreading the word and sharing are easy ways in which you can support and amplify the message. And in doing so, we can all be part of the solution, all while fueling the economy further. And with that, we come to the end of this week's episode of Bear Thoughts. Catch you very soon in the next one. And until then, let's continue to make zero waste living the norm and not the exception.